What up? Welcome to the Walk and Brawl, the rowdiest gaming show on the entire internet. I am your boy Seth Grimes. Follow me, like, subscribe. Where is that? It's over, over down here. Boop, 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 boop. Like, subscribe, follow at Seth Grimes Media. Or right down below, if you're watching right here on YouTube, throw me a like, throw me a subscribe. Just fucking, just do it. What's, what's, really, what's it, what's it gonna hurt you? Huh? It helps me out. It means the world to me. What the fuck's it mean to you? It takes you like a second. You just put the little boop boop. And anyway, we are back with another edition of the Walk and Brawl, the rowdiest gaming show on the internet, and we are doing the Royal Rumble. And I know. I know you're saying you already did a Royal Rumble, and in, in, in you did the Royal Rumble in the Royal Rumble, yes, but we did it at five. So I figured, what if I'm gonna end the game? You know, we're doing a we're doing a, a run here. The games a four a four series run of of the Royal Rumble. What better way to end it than to end it with another Royal Rumble? But instead of difficulty at five, we're gonna go difficulty. 10. We're going to see how we roll. And then we're just going to dive right into it. And you know what? Maybe some fuck throws me off the, over the rope. And if he does, I'm going to come back in. I'm going to punch him in the face. Hit him with a steel chair. And fucking break his leg and put him out. So he can't, can't do shit. That's how it works, right? That's, what, that's how you do. Anyway, enough of my yakking. Let's get on over to the gaming studio. All right, here we are. We're in the gaming center, the center of all gaming. We're gonna play another round here of uh, Royal Rumble. Let's go ahead and get right into it. And what do we got here? Well, let's dive into a Royal Rumble one player difficulty ten. We're going balls to the wall, and we're gonna win it with. Uh, let's win it with. Gosh. Let's win it with Mach. Let's take Mach all the way. Mach, of course, was the last man standing with me. He started the Rumble with me last time. He's gonna, He ended it with me last time with Razor Ramon. Ted DiBiase. Okay, I got you, Ted. Let's fucking go. <clears throat> Just warming up. Just warming up. Fuck, taking elbows already? Can't take damage like that. Of course, this is Brawl Rules, so I can choke a motherfucker if I please. That was my go-to, by the way, too, when I was a kid. Be sitting in the store playing this game in the video game section on display. And I would just choke the fuck out of people. Just start choking. It's better than button mashing. Speaking of button mashing, I'm going to hold my controller away from the microphone. So you don't hear the clickety clack clack Am I even still in there? Where am I? Such a clusterfuck. And then they need to space out. Haven't they heard? It's every two minutes, not every two seconds, you fucks. Uh, sorry about that. That was impolite. Every two minutes wrestling time anyway. It's like, uh, you know, it could be a minute 38. It could be two minutes and a second. Mr. Perfect's really trying to give me a run for my money here. Fuck this guy, by the way. He doesn't even have the arrow on his back. A little black fucking triangle-y thing coming down from the back of his trunkies. His, his little shirt there. <coughs> Who's that? Tatanka? Tatanka took a dive. See that? Tatanka just ran and jumped out of the ring all by himself. What do you do that for? Choke Ric Flair. Nobody cares. Choke Ric Flair. Nobody's going to feel bad for him. Mr. Perfect's got a fucking bone to pick with me. I didn't go try to fight him. He just came and found me again. I'm going to choke you. Yokozuna doesn't look nearly fat enough either, by the way. For as fat as he is, that is not a 500-pound man. Is that the best that graphics could do back then? They couldn't make a guy wider, even? 
Wasn't that uh, who's the who's the fat guy in uh, Street Fighter? The 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 big uh, there's a big tubby guy on there that they were able to do justice to. They can't do it with fucking Yokozuna. Also, Tatanka had tassels on his, but nobody else has tassels on their gear. You don't see tassels hanging from Mach. You don't see the tassels hanging from Yokozuna's underwear bun thing. Get away from me. I'll choke you. I'll choke you. You're fat. You won't be able to eat. You fuck on me. Get away from me, bro. You choke out Yokozuna and his stupid hair bun. When you were a kid, did you have any idea that he was Samoan? Even if you were an adult back then, did you have any idea he was Samoan? Look at Mr. Perfect still trying to fuck around. Listen, Kurt. Curtis J. Hennig. Curtis Paul Hennig. Of the Kurt Hennigs. I didn't even know my chair could go up. I thought it was up all the way. Look at that. Learned something new here on the uh, on the walk and brawl. It's Randy Savage beats the physic. Oh, my health is dog shit. I'm not going to last. I am not going to make it. How do you get your power up? Do I stay away? Okay, can I just avoid people? Will that help? How do you avoid people? You gotta choke, gotta choke my way out of this situation. I wanna see if I stay away from people and I don't get hit. My, oh no! Fresh Sean! Hey, I got Rick though. Got Rick with an off the top rope, rope a doper. <clears throat> Sean's gonna beat my ass though now because he's fresh and I'm not! He's gonna throw my ass out of the ring! Look at that, I got him. Yeah, fuck you, Michaels. Mr. HBK, I'm HBK. Mm. I'm gonna rake that eye, rake that eye, choke that neck, choke that neck, punch your face, punch your face. Look, man, I'm just trying to get out of your way. <clears throat> I'm just a guy doing my thing. Just trying to wear pink, purple tights. That don't look like anything Macho Man's ever worn in his entire life before. I know this seems really simple, by the way. Like, just this punch, kick, punch, kick, eye rake, choke, throw. But this was having a Royal Rumble match as a kid. This was, like, the first game that ever had the Royal Rumble match in it, I believe. You know, none of the other. They had steel cages and stuff before and tag teams. They have never, ever, to my knowledge, ever been able to do... I don't even think they had battle royals and anything. But this, especially not a Royal Rumble. <clears throat> Maybe Super WrestleMania did, but I don't believe so. I think that's why this game is called Royal Rumble, because they introduced that... Oh no, I got the fucking Crush Gaming's finisher in a backup already. Your finisher's weak sauce, bro. Your weak sauce. Your finisher's dog shit. Hey, yo, Chico, stay away from me. How are there still fresh guys coming in? Uh-oh, I'm out! I'm out! Fuck! Shit, well, I didn't mean to quit it. That's it. Should we go back in? Let's go back in. We got to see it to, through to the finish. I didn't know. I thought I, I, I don't know. Press the wrong button or some shit. I was trying to see... Because I know you can get, if you get thrown out, I know you can get put on, you can be like uh, the next guy that's coming in. I don't know that there was even anybody there. I gotta be careful of my health here because that was the problem. My health went to dog shit. Stay away from me. You, don't you, stay, don't you, don't you do it. Macho man. Is he mad at me because I lost for him last time? Well, how do you like that? Clothesline, bitches. And I'm going to... Oh, Ric Flair is going to come over and fuck with me now? He's got some balls. Doesn't he know I'm the dead man? 
How is my health that low already? This is insanity. Choke that neck. Choke that neck. Squeeze him out. We're going to win it this time. I ain't going to let no bitch-ass motherfucker throw me out. <clears throat> choke Mach right out. Here we go. Kurt Hennig wants to get in on it again. Mr. Perfect. Bret Hart, slam him into the ropes. Hard. There's no cage matches on this game, though. It's, uh... That's a shame. I don't know if they are on, the, on Raw, either. I'll have to dive into that game for you guys sometime soon. I won't do it too soon, because we just did... Uh, this will be, like, four or five games for the Royal Rumble here. It'll, that I'll, I'll be putting out, you know, playing this game. You know, I'll dive into some other games for the Walk and Brawl before I go back to wrestling, but... You know, I'll throw some raw up here for you guys. And uh, if you are watching this from the Pro Wrestling Podcast podcast playlist on my channel, you listen to the, the podcast and you came on over uh, to watch the, the wrestling, or you, you gave a chance to the wrestling gaming videos, I appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Thank you for checking me out. <clears throat> I hope you check out other videos while you're here. But uh, if not, if you're just here for the wrestling, I appreciate you. Because I put a lot of a lot of work and time into that podcast. And I, it's um, definitely something I'm proud to bring to you every week. And, and I do the best that I can on it. So hope you're enjoying it if you're over here from that. And if, you, if you're not from there and you're like, what the fuck are you talking about for 10 minutes straight... It's called the Pro Wrestling Podcast Podcast. Let me throw a little plug ski up here down at the bottom. Up here at the bottom. Totally makes sense. See a little glitch line? I get a, am I getting some glitch lines in my game here? Fuck. I don't think I got a good capture card. I think that's part of the problem. Because I have a little sound issues with it. Like, I had done a recording of the game, uh, of me playing some games, uh, to start with, <clears throat> I, there should be, they should be up here, I, I was recording the Mario games, and I couldn't get the audio to work on the game, so I was like, alright, well, fuck it, I'll just play some music in the background, I talk over it anyway, so it doesn't matter, um, plus it's not important to hear the music other than just nostalgia purposes of, hey, it's fun, um, yeah, I'm definitely glitching here, fuck, wonder if that's my Nintendo, or if that's the, the, uh, capture card. But then, so I recorded another game, and I couldn't couldn't do nothing with it because then the audio from the game was on, and it was on full volume, and it was fucking blowing out my voice, so you couldn't hear me or the game, and it was just a big clusterfuck. So, uh, it is on mute now just to be safe. I'll figure it out one of these days, but I'm guessing at this point it's just, I just got a, maybe a weak sauce ca capture card, I don't know. I have no idea. Doesn't matter though because I'm here with you guys. I'm playing. You can hear me. You can see the game. We're having fun. So, is what it is. And I really enjoy this. This makes. I don't know if any of you have ever done any like streaming or gaming online or anything like that. Um, but it it <clears throat> it's funner. It makes it makes playing the game funner than just sitting by yourself. You know, you get to talk trash and get hyphy with it. Have some fun. Glad you guys are here with me, whoever's watching, all three of you guys. Michael's no, still not able to get him over the ropes. Just hoping to set him up for the throw you into the ropes. Come back and then hip toss your ass over the top. <clears throat> gotta start choking people. I'm in here trying to fight people tooth and nail. That's how my health's getting worn down. <laughs> crush, no! Oh, crush, uh, that one hurt. Full body slam on my ass. Oh no, Ric Flair's got the... Ah! Why is... What the fuck? Nate's fucking throw me in the Nate's lock. Of course, I was right back to my feet because I'm the Undertaker. You don't fuck around with the Undertaker. Dead man walking. Boom. Oh. Did you guys like the American Badass? Or Big Evil. I actually kind of like Big Evil. I didn't like the American Badass. I was not a Taker fan there. I did like the Big Evil though. 
I don't always need him to be supernatural or demonic like he was in the Attitude Era. You know, I don't need Cult Taker or anything. I mean, I like that, but I don't need it. But American Badass is a little bit too regular Joe for me. It's a little too, like, Undertaker, just a regular guy. Tough guy, badass, but just a regular guy. He's not supernatural. But I think Big Evil, not being supernatural, was still just fucked in the head. Sick and, and, and sadistic and, and liked causing pain. And just, you know, like, beating the shit out of, uh, out of, uh, uh, David Flair and bloodying him up backstage and then fucking smearing his blood and stuff. That's good shit. That's scary. That's badass. That's, that was good. I think my favorite era Undertaker, though, if I had to say, is, is this era. Boom! There goes Lex Luger. Fuck off, Lex. We won't see your ass again till you're on the fucking till you're on the boat slamming like uh, Yokozuna, wearing the stars and the stripes. But no, this is my favorite era of the Undertaker. I liked the Zombie Taker. It was dope. That was that was my jam as a kid. Undertaker was absolutely one of my favorites. It was like Warrior to start with. Macho was right up there with him as a kid. It's never really a Hulkamaniac. Um, I was always kind of either the bad guy or like the other cool baby face, not the lame say your prayers, eat your vitamins baby face. Even back as a kid, I was rebellious. I was like, ah, fuck that guy. But Mach was cool, right? And then uh, <clears throat> obviously the ultimate warrior because he was crazy and colorful and just great for kids, you know? But as, it, as we moved into this era, it was Shawn Michaels. I really liked Shawn. When he turned on Marty, I thought that was like the craziest shit I ever saw as a kid. I had never seen anything like that in wrestling. And it made me a fan of Shawn. I was like, yeah, fuck that loser, Marty Jannetty. That's right. He was, he was holding you down, Shawn. <clears throat> it was weird how I thought as a kid. It was, <laughs> it was just like me, only little. You know what I mean? It's funny. But, uh... Yeah, no, that was dope, and in and, and this era, The Undertaker and Shawn Michaels were my jam. Wasn't like a Yoko guy. Wasn't you know, By then, I wasn't into Mach. I wasn't into like this later era Mach. I was into early era Mach, like Macho King. <clears throat> Even up through to his retirement match with the Warrior at Mania 7, and then like his return, uh, you know, and then he fought... Uh, it, when he had the snake thing with Jake the Snake and he got his arm bitten, holy shit, dude. Like, this, these were just, this was just such a great era of wrestling in general. I think that's another reason why I like this game so much, is it's just Nostalgia City. It's just, like, all your memories of your childhood just fucking mushed into a game. I'm just gonna let these guys beat each other up. I gotta be careful going up to the top, though. Me and Yoko. Yoko Choco. Let's get into it. Boom! That's it! That's it! Difficulty 10. Difficulty 10. Look at Finkel in there. Hand raise. Let's see what I got. I eliminated Luger and Yoko. So they can go fight on a boat. The Undertaker, the biggest and the baddest. I don't remember seeing anything like that last time. When did they do that shit? Wow. Whew. What a match. What a what a what a fight. What a way to end the Royal Rumble series. I couldn't have asked for anything better. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me, checking out the show. Uh, please check out other videos while you're over here if you got time or just save one to your watch later that looks interesting and watch it fucking later like you said you were going to do. Do it! Peace, love, and pizza. And too sweet. I'm your host, Seth Grimes. This has been the Walk and Brawl, the rowdiest gaming show on the entire fucking internet. And we played the Royal Rumble and it was fun. And I had a very good time.